Kathy McDonald brings the field out for the ninth. Start of the final pick three. Exact and trifecta wagering. Number one is R.K. Scoot and Beamer, owned by Karen and Richard Graham, driven by Mike Wilder. Two, Henry's Manor, owned by Bruce and Mary Jean Wall, with Bruce Regal. Three, F. E. Lemon, owned by Barry Conrad, with Don Feaster. Number four is Ike's Last, owned by Marvin Conkright, Brad Hanners aboard. Five is Birch Brother Ernie, owned by Betty Jean Jordan, with Jack Daly on the bike. Six, Optimism is Bored, owned by Jim Arledge and John Rhodes, with Dallas Miller. Seven is Cruising Jimmy, owned by Sterling Akers, Gina Holloway, and Tim Carsey with David Miller. Eight is Pocket Me a Bundle, owned by Norman Messier with Jack Franklin. Nine is Bingo Road, owned by John Winter, Joan and Jane Stanley with Doug Routsong. And number ten is My Siren, owned by Bill Hartman. Bill Long will be in the sulky. That is the field for tonight's ninth race. No changes here in the ninth. Post time in six minutes. Field for race nine is moving through the clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off in pacing. Optimism is bored on the far outside. Looks for the lead. Ike's last middle of the racetrack. Henry's Manor toward the rail. Down the backstretch, RK Scooten Beamer is fourth. Followed by F11 in fifth. Cruising Jimmy is up on the outside. From out of the second tier, my siren. Followed by Birch Brother Ernie in eighth. After that comes Pocket Me, a bundle, and Mingo Road as they move into the opening quarter mile pole. Henry's Manor driving wide and hard gets the top, 28 and 3. Moving past the stands, odds on favorite Henry's Manor has brushed to the front, followed by Optimism in board. He's the stalker in second. Past the stands, RK Scooten, Beamer third. Ice Last follows in fourth. F11 is fifth. My Siren stays in. Driving up on the outside, Birch Brother Ernie. Cruz and Jimmy got shuffled back to eighth. Moving from the back of the pack, Mingo Road to ninth. The newcomer, Pocket Me a Bundle, is tenth. They're at the half in 59. The no excuse journey tonight is for the favorite, Henry's Manor. Henry's Manor leads by two. Optimism is bored on his heels in second. RK Scootin' Beamer set sail from the rail, followed by Ike's last in fourth. Birch Brother Ernie is up on the outside. F11 between horses. There's Mingo Road. Cruz and Jimmy is four wide to the far outside. My Siren is ninth. Pocket Me a Bundle is tenth on the outside. By three quarters and 128. Moving around the far turn. Henry's Manor continues to lead. RK Scootin' Beamer is up on the outside. Optimism is bored along the rail. Cruz and Jimmy's got five to make up in the final 16th. It's Henry's Manor. Cruz and Jimmy is flying down the middle of the racetrack. Henry's Manor. Cruz and Jimmy's not good enough. Henry's Manor, life and death, is going to hold on. Here comes the unofficial winner, number two, Henry's Manor, a three-year-old Bay Cope by Tyler's Mark out of Bedside Manor. Owned by Bruce and Mary Jean Walls of Greenville. Trained by Bruce Walls. Driven tonight virtually wire to wire by Bruce Regal. To establish a lifetime best of 157 and 3. Number 2, Henry's Manor, the winner. The exact returns, $11 even. The trifecta, 103.20, 103.20. Post time in 14 minutes at 10.34. Next post, 10.34. Open trotters to go in race number 10.
Top down, R.K. Scooten, Beamer eighth, Henry's Banner the winner, F11 fourth, Ike's last was sixth, Birch Brother Ernie tenth, Optimism is board third, Cruising Jimmy second, Pot